Hello world, welcome to the 10th video on my channel. Today I'm going to show off the Zillow API. For now, it can only search the Zillow site and tell me the Zillow estimate from my rental property in Louisiana. Zillow has its own API that you can use to get real estate data, which I'll be showing off today. But Python has its own Zillow library called PyZillow. And another option you can do is called web scraping, where you can pull data directly from a website. But in this video, I'm going to use the Zillow API until my channel grows and I have more subscribers and viewers and people can tell me the pros and cons of each. But if there's an API, I would like to use it. So just thinking about what I would like to do with this, I would like to use this data to, first of all, track my net worth so as I learn to program all the rest of the investments I have, I would love to see that in real time and any changes to that data can be visible uh, right away. And also to identify potential buying opportunities. There are several methods you can use in the Z Zillow API and one of them is just to get neighborhood data. Now there are some boundaries on how far they'll let you go. So, you know, there's a mile radius that you can do. And that data could help you find potential investment properties or primary residents. And you can compare and do your own analysis off of real data. So a lot of real estate agents, one of their claims is that they can give you the local demographics. And uh, that's from their experience. But I would like to see the data and logic behind it. So the Zillow API has several methods in this one we're going to be showing the get deep search results method so let's check it out so first i'm going to show you how i would like to implement it in my program so we'll see that first and then i'll show you what the actual amount of data i can have so let's check this out you house is worth dollar 250 397.00 so as you could tell, my text-to-speech can't recognize it as a currency, but it did pull the data off of Zillow, and it told me that my house is worth $250,397. So I can write some code in the text-to-speech to say that correctly. I'll do that at another time. So, But let's look at all the different results you could have. So I'm going to comment the code out and then we'll look at how much data is available with just this one method. So let's check that out now. So as you can see I still have this error that I'm trying to get rid of but then it gives you what's called a dictionary. So this is not a tutorial if this is your first time to one of my videos, but a dictionary just has uh, keys and values, and then you can call them. And we'll sh I'll show you that when we get into the code. So first, it gives you some extended data. So bathrooms, bedrooms, the square feet, which is true, 1,964 feet, uh, the full address, all the links, to it so if I wanted to say show me this house it could pull that up some of the local r real estate information and then this estimate which is what I pulled off and that's the 250397 all right and so that's what all the data I have access to there's another method called show comps and it will get you comparison data so we won't be exploring that in this video. And so that's a lot of data that's pretty awesome that you can see. So now that we saw those two, so let's go and check out the actual code. So first we import the method, the library called Zillow. Then we go into importing pretty print, pretty print which is a way of making dictionaries look better. And then import locale, or I don't know how to say that, but import locale. And that shows you um, how to change numbers into decimals. All right, then I have my key, which is 
where you get from here you have to sign up for a key mine's blurred out you can't see that so the address of my home in Louisiana and the postal code and then like most API's you have to call the API and then the data is how you search the API so I did not use this get search results so this is just a smaller amount of data okay then you call the pretty printer and this indents by four spaces so that's how you saw that nice dictionary so that's if there were more values you would see it spaced out even more so there you go okay then we go to get deep search results you pass the key that I showed above the address and then you print it using the pretty print function okay so I'm going to revert it back to how I like it where it just shows and tells me the value of my house okay so what this is is you get the dictionary from those results this is called a key value pair so in the Zestimate key, I want the value of amount. So if you look for the Zestimate right here, I want the amount. And it returns that. Okay, then I print it, and then I speak it using my speech to text. So if you want to see that again. You house is worth $250,397.00. And there you go. And that's the code so just like my Python for finance videos I'm super excited because I want real estate to be a large part of my portfolio and this API could grant me access to the data I would need and then furthermore once I download this data you can download any data to an Excel file or encoding it's an XML file and then you know I don't know how to do it yet but then you can apply machine learning to identify trends and buying opportunities and so this is important I feel like I have a good grasp on real estate but with any you know investment there's a lot of bias that you have as a human and there's also assumptions which are dangerous and assumptions are dangerous when you get a profit because you think that your 6% your 8% return is success because you're getting that return but machine learning neural networks and AI they could teach you that you might be at an opportunity loss so your 8% a year could have been 12% of a year so that's what I'm hoping to achieve here this is just you know we're not there yet and so I just wanted to show this off I was pretty excited about this once it all worked so I hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to subscribe hit the notification bell and then like this video and then if you have any other computer nerd friends or programmers let me know show them this channel and uh, goodbye world